Alright, welcome. Um, so if you've watched any of my previous runs, you probably know how this is going to go. If you haven't, here's how it's going to basically go. This is going to be a no new game plus maddening classic run. I have all of the DLC and I'll be using most of it, I guess. It kind of makes the game a little easy, but it's fine. Because this game's not particularly hard, even without it, if I'm being honest. After like Chapter 7, Maddening's not that big of a deal. But I'm basically just gonna play through the game on Maddening. I'm gonna, you know, talk to everyone, get all the supports, watch all the cutscenes, so that way if you haven't seen the game or if you want to watch all that stuff, you can. If you don't, you can just watch the battles too. I'll show pretty much how I do everything, how I set everybody up, um, how I maximize my XP towards professor levels so, you know, I get more activity points faster. Because the faster you get that, the more stuff you can do, the better you can build everyone. And uh, that's part of the fun for me in these games. I'm not uh, particularly the kind of person who will intentionally handicap myself. I can't seem to help myself when it comes to, you know, taking advantage of things and whatnot. But that's just me. So this isn't like some weird challenge run or anything. It's just a basic playthrough. No, I will say connecting to the network does feel like cheating, though. Not gonna lie. Call the Red Canyon. You'll die. <clears throat> die. Die. You took everything that I loved.
could have brought you here? I wonder how you got in here. It is most rude to interrupt a moment of repose. <sighs> Very rude indeed. Now come to me. I wish to have a look at you. Yeah, so I'm gonna go with Mel Byleth. I haven't decided whether or not I'm gonna make him like a war master and archer yet. I'm kind of leaning towards war master, but we'll see how I feel. Um, I think female Byleth is better just because she gets Falcon Knight. I think that's a pretty ridiculous class, and Byleth's a natural sword user, and that transitions decently well into a Falcon Knight, but because I've played female Byleth in my last two runs, I'm getting bored, so I'm going to do male Byleth this time. Hmm, I have not seen the likes of you before. Who are you, anyway? I see. Then you must have a name of sorts. Go on. Huh. I shall not ever grow accustomed to the sound of human names. You must possess a day of birth as well. Beneath which moon and on what day were you born to this world? Uh, I mean, I guess technically this matters because you can get, like, a nice item. Or, I mean, like, a relatively nice item earlier on, if you have it earlier. I just, like, it, it's like two charm. Well, it's whatever. wonders never cease. It seems we share our day of birth. How strange. Hmm. It all feels so... familiar. I think it may be time for... Yet another nap. <sighs> it is almost time to mm, begin. Hey, time to wake up. Were you having that dream again? Massive armies clashing on a vast field, right? Oh, there hasn't been a battle like that in over three centuries. In any case, just put that out of your mind for now. The battlefield is no place for idle thoughts. Risking your life is part of the job for mercenaries like us. Letting your mind wander is a sure way to get yourself killed. Okay, time to get moving. Our next job is in the kingdom. I told you before, it's far from here, so we'll need to leave at dawn. Hmm? Oh, good grief. Everyone is already waiting for us outside. Gerald, sir, sorry to barge in, but your presence is needed. What's happened? Please forgive our intrusion. We wouldn't bother you with a situation not dire. What do a bunch of kids like you want at this hour? We're being pursued by a group of bandits. I can only hope that you will be so kind as to lend your support. Bandits? Here? It's true. They attacked us while we were at rest in our camp. We've been separated from our companions and we're outnumbered. They're after our lives, not to mention our gold. I'm impressed you're staying so calm, considering the situation. I... Wait, that uniform... Bandit spotted just outside the village. Damn, there were a lot of them. I guess they followed you all the way here. We can't abandon this village now. Come on, let's move. Hope you're ready. so dramatic <sighs> this is as you may suspect a pretty easy fight but you can die in it if your uh, main lord decides they're gonna miss like three attacks in a row which uh, does happen sometimes 
it's annoying, but oh, what can you do? Let's take care of those thieves before they overrun the village. Take down the enemies in front first. That should take the wind out of their sails. Yeah, so homeboy's gonna try to tell me how to play the Ready game. Willing. I'm gonna trade all my items from Claude and Dimitri to Biola. It's because of you guys that I'm not dead right now. Thanks for that. I didn't expect to run into mercenaries like you in some remote village. The gods of fortune must be smiling on me. Because I'm not gonna use them in this fight. So, they don't need items, and I get free items, Thank so. You. We are in your debt. It wouldn't do for us to fall in a place like this. Please, lend us your strength. Let's work together to drive out these thieves. Aye, aye, Captain. Stay focused. Um, so, I find this game tends to work where you have, like, one really, really strong unit, and then you have, like, two or three strong but weaker ones so Edelgard is going to be my main squeeze for this just because so I'm going to try to make sure she uh, gets I will a really good start you have a strange aura about you you say you're a mercenary so show me what you can do yeah, so, like, I could risk that, and we'd be fine, or I would be fine, but I'd be wasting, like, a vulnerary, which I will need. And if you miss, like, that a couple times in this fight, if you're only using two people, you can die, like I said, so. And that would just be embarrassing. Yeah, I know how to play. Leave me alone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to wait until Byleth can also move into a tree. Yes, good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, tree or forest give 30% to evasion, which is of course great. So when I played lions on this, I think I Dimitri got me killed like three times before I finally got a start where he didn't. So let's see what Edelgard can do here. She's already doing so much better than he was, it's incredible. This is a fine opportunity. That should hit. You fought well. Think this through. I'm thinking, relax. Wrecked, dude. Boom. Failure is not an option. That's a good omen. Just like that. Edelgard's a pretty good unit, too. She's not quite as good as the boar, but she's good. She's like a discount boar. Attack when an ally is nearby, and the enemy will be intimidated, making them easier to hit. Yeah, yeah, I know. Eh. Your defeat was inevitable. That was a little risky, but honestly, Edelgard's had a great track record so far, so <laughs> not so bad. She hasn't missed a single hit yet. I'll take it. Spread some of the damage out. I'd like both of them to be level 2 before this is over. You can just kind of stack everything on one player, but... It makes the... I guess the chapter 1 battle a lot more manageable if you have two level 2 units at the start. I believed in her and she didn't let me down. Get a good one, come on. One step at a time. Uh, I guess that's okay. 
It's not great. It's not terrible. She only has 40% speed, so not unsurprising. Damn. Why are there mercenaries in the village? Guess we'll have to deal with them too. I'll be safe scumming for speed carrots quite a lot, I imagine. Yeah. So, I'm gonna put L right here. Which HP she got? 24, 16, 20, 16. I mean, I guess she could die technically, but it's very unlikely. I don't think she'd die from two people hitting her, so... Eh, I'll play it safe. Hey! You with the blank stare! Out of my way! I kinda figure I've gotten pretty lucky so far in this, so... Let's not tempt fate here. Getting outrageously lucky with these dodges, actually. Yeah, that's more like it. Alright, here comes Geralt to steal some XP. Thanks, Geralt. I'm hardly trying. My precious XP. Yeah, I'm gonna kill you where you stand. At least he can't steal boss XP. Alright, this level up will determine how strong my Byleth is. If it's bad, I'm going to assume Byleth will be trash for the rest of the game. Let's go. Oh my god. It was okay. We're going to have a mediocre Byleth. Feels bad, man. What are you accomplishing with that little stunt? It's like you're trying to get me killed, you fool. <sighs> well, it's fine. After all, if you don't know the value of your own life, you're not going to protect it very well, are you? Of course not. <laughs> well then, I guess it's up to me to guide you from now on, right? You can call me Sothis. But I'm also known as The Beginning. Hmm. Sothis. Yes, that is it. My name is Sothis. And I am also called The Beginning. But who once called me that? I was not able to recall my name until just now. And just like that, it came to me. How odd. That look upon your face. Did you think me a child? A mere child who forgot her own name? Phooey! That child's just saved your life. And what does that make you? Correct. You understand. You threw yourself before an axe to save just one young girl. Yet all is well, as I have stalled the flow of time for now. You would have died had I not intervened. There now. Is gratitude so much to ask? I did deem you worth saving after all. Though it is only momentary, time has stopped. However did I manage that? When time begins again, the axe will tear into your flesh, and you will surely meet your end. <sighs> How rude of you to drag me into this. 
Now what to do? Of course! I must turn back the hands of time! Yes, I do believe it can be done. You really are quite troublesome. I cannot wind back time too far, but all is well. You are aware of what's to come, which means you can protect yourself this time. Now go! Yes, you who bears the flames within. Drift through the flow of time to find the answers that you seek. You just... The Knights of Seros are here. We'll cut you down for terrorizing our students. Hey, the thieves are running away. Go after them. The students seem to be unharmed. And who's this? Ah. Uh. Why him? That was a pretty slow skirmish at dawn, but this ain't a speed run. <laughs> Captain Gerald? It is you! Goodness, it's been ages! Don't you recognize me? It's Alois, your old right-hand man. Well, that's how I always thought of myself anyway. Oh, it must have been 20 years ago that you went missing without a trace. I always knew you were still alive. You haven't changed a bit, Alois, just as loud as ever. And drop that captain nonsense. I'm not your captain anymore. These days, I'm just a wandering mercenary, one who has work to do. Uh, goodbye, old friend. Right. Goodbye, Captain. Wait, that isn't how this ends. I insist that you return to the monastery with me. Garrig Mock Monastery. <sighs> I suppose this was inevitable. And how about you, kid? Are you the Captain's child? <laughs> Great sense of humor, this one. Clearly cut from the same cloth as the captain. I'd love for you to see the monastery, too. You will join me, won't you? <sighs> What's troubling you, captain? You aren't about to run off again, are you? Even I wouldn't dare run from the Knights of Saros. The Knights of Saros? They do seem rather skilled. Ah, it seems your presence is required. Get going. I appreciate your help back there. Your skill is beyond question. You're clearly an experienced mercenary. And your father, that would be Geralt, the Bladebreaker? Former captain of the Knights of Saros, oft praised as the strongest knight to ever live. Have I missed anything? How curious. I'd wager the explanation for that is fascinating indeed. Hey, you are coming with us to the monastery, right? <laughs> of course you are. I'd love to bend your ear as we travel. Oh, I should mention that the three of us are students of the Officers' Academy at Garrig Mock Monastery. We were doing some training exercises when those bandits attacked. I definitely got the worst of it. That would be because you ran off. 
Too true. I was the first to make a strategic retreat. Everything would have worked out if these two hadn't followed me and ruined everything. Because of them, every single one of those bandits chased after us. Utterly ridiculous. Ah, so that's what you were thinking, Claude. And here I thought you were acting as a decoy for the sake of us all. His intentions were as clear as day. You will prove a lacking ruler if you cannot see the truth behind a person's words. <laughs> you will prove a lacking ruler yourself if you look for deceit behind every word and fail to trust those whom you rely on. Oh, joy. A royal debate between their highnesses. I wonder how being completely predictable affects one's ability to wield power. Personally, as the embodiment of distrust, I'd say your little exchange smacks of naivete. Me, naive. Tell me, are you actually incapable of keeping quiet, or is your lack of self-awareness a condition of some sort? In any case, forgive our digression. I must speak with you if you can spare a moment. The way you held your ground against the bandit's leader was captivating. You never lost control of the situation. It showed me I still have much to learn. Your skill is precisely why I must ask you to consider lending your services to the Empire. I might as well tell you now, I am no mere student. I am also the Adrestian Empire's... Halt, Edelgard. Please allow me to finish my own proposition. The Holy Kingdom of Fargus is in dire need of exceptional individuals like yourself. Please, do consider returning to the Kingdom with me. Whoa there, you two sure are hasty. Trying to recruit someone you just met. <laughs> Tactless, really. I was personally planning to develop a deep and lasting friendship on our journey back to the monastery before begging for favors. But it seems there's no time for niceties in this world. So, capable stranger, let's get right to it. Where does your allegiance lie? Hmm. It seems one's place of birth is quite significant to them. Yet they are so impressed by you that you may take your pick. Well... <laughs> a wise choice. Though the Empire has fallen from its former glory, the other regions are merely offshoots that pale in comparison. All right, that's enough with the small talk. It's time to head back to the monastery. Looks like we'll have to pick this up another time. My, my, they are in such a hurry. You know, each of the three is most unique. Yes, I thought the same. I am so sleepy once again. Oh, I may be sleeping, but I... All right, that's that easy peasy over and done with. Um, next will be, I guess, house introductions and selections. I suppose I'll just talk about the characters I'll be using for this run, and how to get them, how good they are, etc., etc. Either way, thanks for watching.